welcome back. You're just in time to fly with me in the Tiger Moth. And Smash Proof is here at the folly. <laughs> Let's do it. Tiger Moths have been around for the last 70 years. They were instrumental in training fighter pilots for World War II, and their old school style is still classy today. We're here in Ardmore, South Auckland, to find out what makes them so special. Come on. Meet Graham, who's a pilot and owns this beauty. Graham, what sort of plane is this? This is a de Havilland Tiger Moth. During the war, they were used as a training aircraft for all the wartime pilots. How many of them are still in New Zealand at the moment? Probably about 40 of them still flying. Today, they're used strictly for enthusiasts who use them for pleasure. So how much would one of these set me back? If you buy a brand new one, they can be up to $200,000. What's special about flying a Tiger Moth? It's going back into the history of aviation. You're out in the breeze, it's an open cockpit. It's like a blast from the past, and it's quite a thrill to fly them. Do you reckon you could take me up for a fly? I'd love to, Mike. Cool. You'll be sitting in the front cockpit. Am I going to be driving? I can't let you drive, <laughs> sorry. Trap you in. I'd like to just hold your head still. Pull that down over your ears. All right, Mike, we're ready to go. You ready, Graham? All set. Let's do this. Uh, Bravo Lima India, you're in crime rating five now. Shower spray and we're away, up, up and away. How do you navigate when you're flying? Well, we just go back to the basics of navigation. So what we do is we just use a compass and uh, we plan on our route, our headings, calculate the wind, and... Uh, You're off? We're off. So how far could you fly in one of these? They have uh, nearly three hours endurance, but we like to be on the ground in around two hours, 15 minutes, just to make sure that we've still got some petrol in the tank. And they cruise at around 80 miles an hour. We can go about nearly 200 miles. What are the wings made of? Well, the wings are made of wood. Originally, they was covered with cotton or linen, and then they apply what they call aircraft dope to it, gave it protection from the elements. Now, what sort of engine does the Tiger Moth have? It's a four-cylinder inline engine. It's built upside down, so that we have the crankshaft at the top and all the cylinders down at the bottom. Well, is, that, is that for space? No, it's not for space. It's to uh, help the aircraft and the design of it keeps the propeller higher off the ground. Thank you so much to Graham for showing us a bit of aviation history. If you guys want to know more about tiger moths, do check out the website below. And yeah, I have seen the teeth of a tiger moth. Rawr! See you. <laughs> See ya. Smash Proof have been talking aloud since forming in 2005, but do they have what it takes to survive in 2009 with the debut of their album, The Weeknd? Well, we're gonna test the boys to see how Smash Proof, Smash Proof really are! Music. I got my elbow on the window, still hand on my face, looking out to the world. A lot of questions lay awake in my brain. New Zealand, this is Smash Proof, my man Deech. Oh, man. And of course, young Sid in the back there. Is he alright, bro? Yeah, he's good. Trin's whipping his butt. He handle himself. Now, brother, Smash Proof burst onto our radios, our TV screens back in 2005. It's now 2009. What have you guys been doing? Like, everyone's working on their solo project. That's why we disappeared for a while. Because this first song, brother, which is from The Weeknd, it's quite an emotional song. Who in mind did you have when you guys were writing that song? Um, well, Sid had the idea of having South Auckland as the metaphor for brother. We came together, we read the song, we had a catchy beat. MTC guys got gin on the chorus. So we're talking about Jin Wigmore? Yeah. The beautiful blondie in, in the music in the video, video as well? Yeah totally different style from you guys. Why did you decide to put her on the track? Oh, just to get a different variety of people liking our music, really. Mm -hmm. Expect something from me. You can't beat me, homie. What you think, Smash Proof me? We've got another member of Smash Proof, Mr. Young Sid. What's up, brother? Smash Proof's debut album is dropped the weekend. Uh, yeah. Can yeah. you tell us why you guys called it that? Because it's about us. And when you clock out on Friday, what do you want to do? You want to go out and have some fun because you had a whole week of being asleep or someone else. What kind of issues are you trying to address with the song, brother? Just trying to address the uh, South Auckland living, from like the random acts of violence to 
the hustling side to putting your putting food on the table at all costs. Is it really that bad? Like the parts that I, well, I grew up in, that that's, that was my life. I seen all of that, all that BS. So that was the whole life. We lived through. Yeah, we lived through it and we still go for it right now. And I know a lot of kids out there go for it as well. With this album, what makes you think people will listen to you guys? Because um, we're from it. That's why we got strikes. We're allowed to talk about these sort of issues. Well, what do you want to say now? I don't believe what you what you hear on TV. Most of it's eat us. It's been straight up. Boys, you both survived our mat of death. What was it like on there for you two? Pretty fresh, then. Easy. <laughs> Easy. I don't know. What is it? Pacific Beach Street. Street. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Get out of here. <laughs> Cheap shots. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks heaps to you guys for hanging with us today. Make sure you log on to our website to win some free stuff. Thanks to all our guests on the show. Have a great day. Big ups to Smash Proof. Now they're gonna take it away with their latest hit, brother! Bye. I got my elbow on the window, still hand on my face, looking out to the world. A lot of questions lay awake in my brain, and I'm still trying to suss out what I'ma say. And if I do speak, do speak on some things, is it you that's gonna cop all I hate? So here goes. Why is it that when some guy makes it out of hood life, they like, no, we can't let you and allow Bobo to rape girls and compensate them like they're the victims it's first. first. So wanna know all the things why you make your little brother slam rocks on the side of blocks and do whatever do you really think is making it better? What I see is a cold war living. Your little sister, no one is a hood rat. Right. Right. Not the hood, hood that. that pleasure all she wanna do is fit in. <laughs>